Yo, dead man is standing. It's time. Get proper. Get right. Swing the axe. Show the might. <laughs> You're on. Put your toe back. One hit. Right now. First try. Not a chance. You know who you're talking to? Dead man is Danis. Fastest hands in the east. <laughs> no! You did it! Yeah. You owe me a 12 pack. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm doing some yard work. I'm not doing typical XJ stuff or ZJ stuff, Mustang stuff or Commander stuff. This isn't involving a Jeep today, but man, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let's just show you some Jeeps right here. I actually got my two XJs. This is going to be my new Project Beach Jeep. Uh, one of the two, or maybe both, perhaps. <laughs> so I'll talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to give you a little review of this DeWalt battery-powered chainsaw that I got. Um, I didn't expect to do this review, uh, but it's been so great that I figured I'd give DeWalt a shout-out and say I love this chainsaw. Um, so what happened was uh, I needed to make room in the backyard for my Jeep projects. So uh, if you guys have been following along on Instagram, I took some trees down. Yeah, boy. Three giant oaks taken down. Correction, I paid someone to cut those trees down. Once they were down, um, well, to save money, I guess, they just split. I told them that I would take care of the chopping and the splitting and stacking obviously uh, so um, while I was doing that um, I had a lot of issues <laughs> with the old uh, craftsman chainsaw this thing is probably like 15 years old <laughs> I was really just sick of messing with the carb and the choke and getting this thing to run right So I went to Home Depot, I figured I'd get a new chainsaw. Now I had no expectations, I didn't know what I wanted, I figured I'd get the most expensive one there and there was like a $300 Echo chainsaw, I looked on the reviews online and um, they looked pretty good. But then I saw this here DeWalt and I wasn't impressed with it at first because, well, it came with this dinky little 12 inch bar. Well, bitch bar <laughs> and I'm cutting like huge thick trees down over here you know there's like 15 inch diameter so um I wanted something bigger and um I figured heck let me see let me mess with the display model and I grabbed the <laughs> echo bar right off the shelf and with the display model I put on the uh universal echo bar right to the DeWalt electric so I figured I'd take a shot and I bought it and man was that a great purchase this is like a hassle-free chainsaw. All you gotta do is put the battery on, press the button, <laughs> it goes, it goes. I love it. Now, the only thing you have to do to it is put in the bar oil, which is no big deal. You do that anyway. So, you do the bar oil every time I uh, put in a battery. Um, so let's talk about the battery. The battery life is not that great, especially when you're cutting through huge logs, but it comes with a five amp battery. It's the uh, 20 volt lithium ion. With the five amp battery it comes with, uh, I put in my 20 volt six amp max battery in there. Uh, this thing's a beast. So all you gotta do is keep a charger with you and you just switch batteries every so often. Um, I think I was averaging about, let's see, three batteries per tank of gas on this thing so it's not that bad uh but i it's so quiet when you cut <laughs> one night i was out till like three in the morning just cutting logs man drinking beer having a fire pit 
and getting the work done. Now you gotta screenshot them burning right now. <laughs> Goodbye. I mean, fireball goes a long way. <laughs> oh yeah, those coals are ripping. So, let me give you an update of where we're at with this yard, what we've done. Check this out. Well, here is a section of one of the big trees and it had some rot in the middle. <laughs> Glad I cut that tree down. Did not want that falling on my projects. So, if you guys have been following along, when I deconstructed a beach jeep uh, two years ago, good God, that was a long time ago. Um, it was right here on this slab. And uh, yeah, these are where the trees were. I had one back there in the corner, one right here where I'm standing, and another one right in front of that shed. So trees are down, and these are the logs I'm splitting. And uh, gonna start this fire in a minute. Gonna roast some wood, maybe have a couple beers, have a couple buddies over. We're gonna keep working at the night. We gotta break down this log pile. And uh, this is where I'm at. So had Johnny, Johnny Stumps came through and he ground up all these stumps. And then once this yard is cleaned up, all this wood is stacked and out of the way. I'm starting a little wood pile right there, way back there. Um, when this is all out of the way, I'm having my buddy Vinny. He's coming down with a bobcat and he's gonna pull this mound back down. Now, back in the day, about seven years ago when we bought this house, this whole backyard was a complete jungle. He came in with his bobcat and he scraped the yard clean and he piled everything up in this mound. The mound has since decomposed. Uh, I actually planted a couple trees up there. Not trees, uh, azaleas and rhododendrons. Those are my two favorite shrubs. A shrubbery! So we had that going for a while. I had tiki torches up there. It was really cool. Used to hang by the fire pit. Uh, this was an awesome fire pit. I made this temporarily to last a weekend for my 30th birthday party. Six years later, it was still going strong until one of the trees came down on it. So we're gonna bury this fire pit, we're gonna spread this mound out, and then we're gonna put in some crushed RCA, that gravelly concrete stuff, recycled concrete and asphalt. It's gonna go right in here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up a carport so I'm gonna have a place to keep my Jeeps and parts out of the weather I'm gonna have my place to work and I'm gonna get going on my beach Jeep project finally so as we go check out these Jeeps I just want to give a big thank you big thank you and a shout out to all you guys who signed on and subscribed to my channel to watch me build an XJ uh, like Dan Hambrick you guys have been there since day one um, We've got Sean, Dan, a bunch of guys uh, who have just wanted to see me work on this XJ. And I threw in other crazy stuff like uh, Mustangs, EJs. <laughs> I know you guys love the EJs too, but I really want to get to an XJ build. It's coming. It's my passion. So um, here we go, guys. Here is my wrecked 20, not 20, it's, uh, it's a 99. <laughs> we got a 99 two-door. We got my 01 four-door. And uh, let's see if we can turn this into one Jeep. That's a hint. Um, here's another hint. I did some strategic parking for an Instagram shot. I think the angle was like this-ish. Where am I going? <laughs> there we go. Man, hey, if Jeep made a Suburban, I'd buy it. But they didn't, so I might have to make it. So that's what's going on with that. Um, what else do I have going on? Let's see, let's take a look at this. Um, so yeah, that's the project to come. That's the big one. Now we're gonna come around. Y'all remember this ZJ right here? This was my part ZJ. Um, I've said, said it a thousand times that I was going to do a rear disc brake conversion for my Black Beauty XJ. And I'm gonna do it, I swear. <laughs> so this is a promised cap, and I gotta take the disc brakes off of this. I think I'll make a video about 
removing disc brakes from a ZJ for your XJ. Um, what kind of parts you need, what you're gonna wanna look for. So that's that. And I got a guy, uh, he is coming to take the engine out of the ZJ. I got my hoist up, the hoist is, oop, I missed. <laughs> hoist is ready to go. We are gonna pull the engine. He's gonna flip an XJ, I think, get that going. Once the engine's out, once the disc, disc, disc brakes are out, this thing's getting scrapped. I'm getting room in my driveway. Um, gonna load it on this here tow dolly that we did so good in fixing up. I'm gonna pull this thing out. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, General Grievous, guys. You've been asking about the Grievous. Uh, everything is good with the General, uh, except Unfortunately, that I uh, had some tire issues. Now, I should have watched d and &E in the Garage how to pick used tire videos because when I got these things, I checked everything out except for the date. And uh, I, I cornered really hard <laughs> trying to uh, not use my brake pedal to uh, conserve uh, gas mileage, I guess. I was trying to get the most miles per gallon uh, driving home one day. So I didn't really want to do much stopping and much accelerating. So I ripped the corner and I must have popped the belt. So uh, right here, this tire is just ripping itself to pieces where the belt broke. So um, because I did that, I feel like these Dunlop tires are not safe on the ZJ. So I don't want to drive it. I do want to buy those uh, General Grabber ATX tires, put them on these bad boys, and then get this on the General. Only problem is uh, I really want to do this XJ build, and I'm trying to save as much money as possible to, uh, to get that XJ project started. So I didn't want to take from my XJ fund to put on the ZJ. I don't need to drive the ZJ just yet. Uh, I drive Black Beauty. So um, yeah, one day we'll get this. Uh, the more time I, I waste, the more money I'll end up saving. And then, uh, yeah, that'll get going. So that's it, guys. Um, that is my video. Um, it's great to see you guys. Uh, I wanted to get a little update video so you guys know what I'm doing. I'm not just out here picking my nose and uh, taking the baby for a walk, which is always fun to do. Not picking the nose part. Um, I forgot I said that. Deleted. <laughs> I've been just doing a lot of work back here in the yard. So um, once I get it going, we'll, uh, we'll have some XJ content. Um, what else is back here? <sighs> it's been a while. I got, <laughs> got some fuel tanks over here. I got my 20 inch Dodge Ram rims. I got a engine transmission. Anybody want an engine? Uh, come take this off my hands. I got a 200,000 mile transmission, 200,000 mile blown engine. It's an automatic uh, AW4. Um, that's my other engine. And uh, oh, I got my front end over here. Let's see. This is a high pinion Dana 30. Um, I'm going to put that in the XJ when I build it. I'm also going to put in the Chrysler 8 and a quarter with the disc brakes in it. Um, but yeah, one day I would like to have. Uh, a stroker in my build and uh, Dana 44s. Anybody's got the scoop on how to get some uh, Rubicon Dana 44s, let me know. This guy wants it. So I guess that's it, guys. Um, the uh, chainsaw is awesome. So shout out to DeWalt. Um, wish I got it for free. Um, <laughs> I am not paid by DeWalt or sponsored in any way. I just want to give a shout out to them because uh, it's a good product. And uh, I, do, I do like to do reviews every now and then. Um, let's see, here we go. This uh, Echo Bar was great. Um, the Walt Bar is too short. Let's see, chain bar oil, oh yeah, I use these Power Care um, chains. They were good. And let me tell you something, I don't always kiss the ass of the product I'm reviewing. Um, I like to do products I like to review products that are good. Um, so here's a product that's absolute crap. In Home Depot, I picked up these heavy duty firm grip gloves. Firm grip, they are absolute trash. <laughs> I 
I wasn't even splitting wood when uh, these things gave out. This thing right here busted right out the finger. Um, the Velcro strap started ripping off. Got a hole in the finger. These things, they're only a week old. I, I don't know why I bought them. I guess because they have uh, these little carbon fiber knuckles. Um, I, I was duped. I thought they were cool. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like gonna punch a tree in half? I don't think so. That's what I have the chainsaws for. So <laughs> I got suckered into buying these things on account of knuckles uh, and they suck. So don't ever buy any firm grip product. Trash. I'm gonna light them on fire later. Peace to the gloves. Peace. All right, enough complaining about those crappy gloves. We're gonna actually test out this chainsaw. Um, so what we got is we got the DeWalt battery powered chainsaw, 12 volt lithium ion. We got an Echo 18 inch bar and a Power Care 18 inch chain. Uh, we're gonna set this up and uh, give this bad boy a shot. Ambidextrous. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. Uh, so does this thing get the job done? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. But um, if you're going to use this, you're going to want to be in a suburban area where you have access to power so you could change the batteries. Unless you're uh, doing some work in the woods and you come with uh, like 17 batteries packed with you. Um, you need the electricity, obviously, to recharge these suckers. Um, if you're deep in the woods, you're going to want to have your uh, gas can and your gas-powered chainsaw, absolutely. But for uh, cutting things around the house, if you only use this thing maybe once or twice a year, this is absolutely perfect. Um, so for the short-term review, this thing's fantastic. We'll see what happens when we really get work done. Um, it did a lot so far, obviously. You can check out all those. <laughs> cuts I did before um, but yeah so I'm digging this thing um, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up you know what we're gonna call up Chainsaw Charlie have him come down here we're gonna have him make a cut right in the same spot uh, he's got a new Husqvarna and um, that thing's a beast so he'll probably cut through this thing like butter you know it's fair to get a good comparison so come on Get him in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thing that I always liked about the Craftsman, it had a carrying case. I didn't have to mess around with these stupid sleeves, but you know what? Gets the job done, protects the bar and the blade. Um, these Craftsmen, they did have some quality back in the day. They put a little more effort, I guess, into the build. This was probably before they became Craftsmen, but um, there was always things I never really liked about this. Had to pry off the gas cap with the pickle fork, but what are you gonna do? We uh, always kept the chain nice and sharp with the file and took care of our tools. But goodbye, craftsmen. We're moving on to the DeWalt. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's a wrap for this one. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. 
Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see done to these XJs. And uh, let me know if you guys chop some wood. I find it to be a very therapeutic going out there, whacking some logs with an axe, drinking a couple beers, listening to some music. Um, yeah, good old man stuff. Beautiful thing to do when the weather is beautiful. So that's going to do it for this quick update video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.